you speak about you have a screening of your latest film. Yes. So can you tell us more about that? So the last film that I did is called Zwigato and it's about a food delivery rider and his family and I think I've got to know that here also uh, people you know uh, get food delivered they buy things online so they are quite familiar with this whole notion of delivery partners and delivery riders so it's a little glimpse into their life you know I think stories are universal even though the context may be Indian uh, I think there are a lot of things in the film that I'm sure the Chinese people can also relate to um, and you know otherwise we all live in our little silos and we don't know what life is for the other people and cinema is a great way of knowing um, you know the human situation about relationships about what people are feeling thinking their struggles their dreams their aspirations they are all quite similar it's interesting that you talk about Chinese and Indians have shared uh, many similarities, you know, in terms of our um, emphasis on family traditions and stuff like that. Right. And the, the society has gone through, you know, uh, many changes. changes yeah. yeah. Sociopolitical, economic, you know, uh, the influence of the outside world, all that is changing. Uh, also, relationships, you know, about human relationships. What are the changes in generations? What is the man woman? equation you know so those things are also changing and I think I do see a similarity so it would be interesting and we also have a big Chinese population in India in Calcutta there is a place called Chinatown so these are like three generation four generation Chinese who have been living there for many many years so yeah so I think there is there is a synergy and maybe the time is right to be able to collaborate and culturally we can come close there are other issues which may be, but I think culture is such a bridge. You know, it's, it's more people to people. It's got nothing to do with politics and the big issues, but it's really got to do with the human uh, collaboration and partnerships and friendships. And I think cinema is a good way to foster that. And as someone who wears many hats in the film <laughs> industry, you know, you're um, a director, actress, sometimes jury member. And so what kind of advice would you like to give to the younger generation of filmmakers? At least in India, I don't know how it's here, but in India, a lot of the times people want to come into films because they think it's very glamorous. You know, it's got, you'd be walking red carpets or you'll wear fancy clothes or, you know, it's, it, Sometimes it's a little bit misplaced. <laughs> uh, so I think um, if you're really itching to tell a story, you know, that's, that should be probably the motivation to become whether an actor or a filmmaker or even a producer. And how authentically can you say it? How honestly can you say it? And I truly believe that the more local, the more you're true to your context, in a way the more global you are, the more universal you are. If you try to be universal, I think you please nobody. So you have to first make yourself happy and believe that there are others like you who will resonate with these films. So, um, and also personal stories, whatever your experience is, what you have seen, what concerns you, what makes you happy, what are your dilemmas. You know, it's a great way of expressing that through cinema. And I would just say be an observer of life. These days, young people are watching a lot of things and they're like, oh, I want to make a film like this. Uh, I want a film which marries this film and that film. You know, so we want to just rehash what has already been made. And that's why, but if you want to be really original, I think it's important to be an observer of life. And there are so many stories around us. If we hear them, see them, feel them, we will be able to, I think, tell more authentic stories.